President Joe Biden is visiting Connecticut today. It is his first visit as the president. And joining us uh, to talk more about the occasion, we're happy to have Eric Russell, the vice chairman of the Connecticut Democratic Party, joining us right now. Uh, Mr. Russell, good morning. How are you today, sir? Good morning. It's uh, good to be here. Yes, and glad to have you here. Uh, why don't you just start by uh, talking to us about how important this is uh, for the state and for the Coast Guard Academy, which has been thankful to have presidents come to give that all-important commencement address over the years. Yeah, it's very important. And as you mentioned, uh, this is the first trip to Connecticut for President uh, Biden as president. Um, he also gave the commencement speech in 2013 as vice president. Um, but it's exciting, exciting to have him here. He has shown and continues to show that he's the leader that we've needed in this moment. Um, it's been really aggressive with the combating the pandemic, with uh, allowing access to vaccinations, to getting people back to work, um, and is just really doing great work. So happy to have him here. There have been several members of his administration, including uh, the vice president, who has already visited Connecticut, which I think is a sign of uh, the administration's uh, acknowledgement and awareness of how well um, we are doing here in Connecticut. Hi, Eric, I have to ask you about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. We've been following it very closely here on Fox 61. A lot of our viewers are very concerned. Do you think the president is taking a strong enough stance with the conflict? So I, th I think everyone is, is working through um, this really challenging issue. And I think the, the president has been uh, clear about what his position is. Um, and I think that we are hopefully going to see um, some resolution with the support of the administration coming in the near future. Uh, do you think he's done enough uh, with regards to bringing jobs back? Of course, there's been lots of them, but that's more been a function of just a recovery from the pandemic. And we're starting to see some criticisms that a lot of people would rather just keep uh, staying home, trying to stay safe and taking whatever unemployment assistance they can get instead of going out and getting some of the more low paying jobs. What can be done to address that and make that more effective? So I think the first thing that we have to acknowledge is that this um, issue and um, this current situation didn't happen overnight either. And there are going to be things that take some time. Um, I think the uh, president has done an incredible job of um, investing in American people, I think, in, in providing support that was very much needed. Um, and I think that that's going to uh, continue as we work our way um, out of this really challenging situation. I think uh, folks want to get back to work. I think we're seeing that. I think as uh, you know, due to the uh, strong efforts that have, that have, uh, the administration has taken place, and I think particularly here in Connecticut, um, due to the leadership of uh, the governor and the lieutenant governor, um, and the leadership of citizens of Connecticut um, in, in wearing masks and following guidelines, uh, we've been able to really combat um, the pandemic. And I think you've seen, that's why you've seen jobs really coming back here in Connecticut. So, you know, I think with the, those continued uh, supports in place, we're going to come back and have a, a stronger um, and better economy um, coming out of this. Okay. Eric Russell, thank you so much for Thanks taking so the time much. to join us today. And uh, we'll see what the, the president touches upon in his speech day on, mm. uh, regarding any of those topics, if at all. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for having me.